Dragos? What's happening? So it's game day today. We are off. We are away. We are off to Adams Park. It's Wickham Wanderers v Barnet. Now, if this is your first time going to Adams Park, don't be alarmed. If you go down the road and all you see is factories, offices, pretty much an industrial estate. It was pretty much the only place they could build a ground in that shithole. I'm joking. The whole place is a dump, so they could have built it anywhere. That's enough of chatting bollocks. Let's get into the football news. Now, Wickham finished ninth last season, played 46, won 19, drew 12, lost 15, scored 58, conceded 53 as a plus goal difference of plus 5, and they finished on 69 points. Wickham currently sit 8th, and the last 5 games have been 2 wins, 2 draws, and 1 loss. And they've just won their last two on the bands. Now, Gareth Ainsworth has been with the club since 2012 and has a win percentage of 40. Played 270, won 108, drew 69, lost 93. Now, Wickham's danger when it's selected could be Aki Fenwa, who's got five goals in eight, Craig Mikel Smith, who has two in eight, and Joe Jacobson, who has three in ten, and also leads the way with most assists with two, obviously in ten. Now, the last time Barnett played Wickham was only last season. Ended in a 2-0 win for the Chairboys. The last time Barnet played Wickham away and won was only last season, a 2-0 win to the Bees. Valetti and John Akindi getting the goals. And that was our first win there in 26 years. You'd have to go all the way back to 1991 when the last time Barnet beat them in a 3-1 win. Goals from Kenny Lowe and Gary Ball with two. So we go into this game with one win in five. I've not seen the team yet, but once the team's in, I'll bring that to you. So the team's in, and we're going with a 4-2-3-1. Craig Ross in goal, a back four of Clough at right back, Santos, Nelson, centre-half, Tonda at left back. Your two in midfield is Valetti and Fongook. Akpo Akpro is on the far right. Blackman is on the far left. Campbell Rice is in number 10. And Caulfurst is up front on his own. Come on, Barnett. Warm up's done, the boys are out. Come on, Barnett, it's putting a performance today. Within the first five minutes, Barnett's had a few attacks. Not too bad, easy for the keeper to deal with. 20 minutes in, first electric five from Barnett, then went a bit quiet after that for about 15. Wickham's had about three free kicks, nothing dealt with from them. Free kick has just gone for a corner now for Barnett. Another shit short corner, gone to waste. 20 minutes played. 23 minutes in, Wickham Wanderers won, Barnett nil. Giaki Fenwa. You can't leave him unmarked. I don't know where Tatonda was. 1-0. Oh, my God! 32 minutes in, crossed by Fongu. Akpar Pro has missed an open goal. So it's half time, it's Wicker Wanderers 1, Barnet 0. First five minutes, we looked electric, but after that, 15 minutes, he just went flat from both sides. And then we get caught out of the back post. Wickham have had a few free kicks, nothing done with them. And we haven't really done much either. It's just poor marking again. There's no communication. We need to have a rethink. It's another game where we're trailing and we're chasing a lead again. We need to get Jack on there at half time because we need some creativity because there's nothing going. Akpar Akpro missed probably our best chance, a free header. No one ran him and he's just here over the bar. We need to learn from our mistakes. 64 minutes in, Wickham Wanderers 2, Barnet 0. Goalkeeper's taking a free kick from his own half. Akifem has bullied our players again. He's knocked it down to one of theirs and he's just popped it through. Again, we can't mark players. Oh! In the 70th minute, Marrow puts a nice ball in. Akinola just can't convert. She's Akinola's come on, and Jack, come on, they played well. 75th minute, Wickham 3, Barnet 0. Santos just got bullied there, and the guy's had a shot. He's gone straight in the roof of the net. 3-0. We've got muscled out of this again. Go on. 77th minute, Wickham 3, Barnet 1. Valetti with a goal. It might be too little too late. He's took it well though, but it's still about 12 minutes left plus injury time. Come on, Barnet. So the game finished, Wickham Wanderers 3, Barnet 1. Why does it feel like Groundhog Day? You get pumped up, you get up for it, you want to go to the game, look forward to football, and then you lose again. It's not Groundhog Day, but it fucking feels like it because you're getting the same shit performance week in, week out. You're getting the same players who are not good enough for this team playing week in, week out. Answers on a postcard why Akpar Akpro start. Someone please tell me. The guy got sent out on loan, deemed not good enough, now he starts week in, week out. Rossi. 
For fuck's sake, please swallow your pride and get Watson, Sweeney and Nichols back in this team. Build whatever bridges you think have been burned. I don't care if you think their attitude's shit. It works hand in hand. Fucking get it going. We need the experience. We need more fire in this team. We need something to relight a bit of spark. But right now, for the sake of not letting this job get any worse than it is for you, more difficult, the sake of not getting the fans on your back, please, for fuck's sake, just get them in the squad so we can have some more availability. We've taken one point out of a possible 14. 14 points available, we've taken one. Conceded 10 goals and only scored five. It's just not good enough. What is the difference between a coach and a manager? Because they practically do the same thing, don't they? They talk to their players, they tell them what they want from them, they guide them through the game, but it's clearly something there between a coach and a manager. Rossi is a very good coach, but is he out of his debt being a manager? Still willing to give him a chance and see what's going on until these injuries are sorted out. But right now, please, for the sake of not losing any more games, swallow your pride and get these boys back in this squad so we can get some fucking results going. Because right now, fans are calling for your head, mate. 11 games in. That's not great. Because Kevin Nugent must be pissing himself laughing right about now. I'm just deflated. I don't know what else to say. I feel like a man on the edge. I need antidepressants. But that's football for you. And we love it. And we turn up week in, week out. And we still go in the hope that we may pull off a performance. Coventry City is up next. That's going to be on Sky. And if we ain't careful, we could get our pants pulled down for that game. Make sure you like, subscribe, leave any comments below. Follow me on Twitter. It's above my head. Share this video. And until next time, I'll see you later.